What if I told you that there is a way to take all the licks you're already playing and make them sound fresher, more exciting, and almost new without having to learn a single new lick and without having to learn a single new scale? Well, that is completely possible. It's very easy to do, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video. Really quick, if you haven't met before, my name is David Wallerman. I've been doing this, teaching, playing professionally for 30 plus years. I love doing it and I discovered that actually the simple concepts are what make a massive difference and that's why I started this channel. It's all about giving you some more power to express yourself musically without having to relearn the whole game. That's what it's all about. Now, hopefully you have your guitar with you because this is gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to try out on your own. If you don't, pause the video, go grab it. And also, if you're watching this video, it most likely means that you're at a point in your playing where you're looking for fresh ideas. You want something a little more exciting because you have not progressed maybe the way that you want to progress. You're not where you are on the instrument. Maybe you've been playing for decades. If that's you, if you have been playing for years and you don't feel that progress, it means there's one thing that is keeping you stuck where you're at. And typically it's a very easy thing to fix, but it's hard to discover what that thing is. So I created a free tool. It's just kind of a quiz basically, but pretty in depth. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video. I can't talk, I'm so excited by the concept I'm gonna tell you today. Anyways. After this video, take the free quiz. It'll tell you exactly what is keeping you stuck, how to fix it so that you can continue progressing and make the most out of your time on the instrument. Okay, let's get started. We're in E minor. E minor pentatonic, you know that one between frets 12 and 15, that's the first position. Before we fix this, let's look at the actual problem. The problem is that when you have a track like that, you are gonna go to your to-go lick Maybe it's that one, or maybe it's something like. It sounds fine, but by definition, if it's your to-go lick, it means that you've played it before many, many, many times. And people are kind of maybe getting bored of, and the most important person who's getting bored out of it is probably you. So we need to look at this a little bit differently. When you're using your to-go lick, what is happening? Well, you're relying on comfort. Your fingers, your fingers are really comfortable with that thing you're doing. You take this one, for example. Let's say that that's your to-go lick, okay? I'm in that first position, third string, 14th fret, I'm doing that bend, a full step bend. And then I'm playing the next note of my pentatonic scale on the second string, 12th fret, and then second string, 15th fret. Just repeating that. over and over. We know it works, your fingers know it works and that's why they do that. And you can do it with your eyes closed and it's kind of like relying on everything you know. Your fingers are doing the thing. Your mind is acting like uh, the audience in a way. You're just listening. Yeah, it sounds good. I know it sounds good. It's fine. You're not really participating anymore. You're kind of like checked out, right? We need to add an element that is re-engaging your mind into what you're doing so that your music is gonna feel more in control to you and it's gonna sound that it's more controlled to the audience and also to you because in a way you are the audience too. When you're playing, it's really cool to be able to act as the music fan who's listening to what you're doing too. So that's what we're after here. That thing that is gonna allow you to re-engage your mind is not gonna be the choice of notes. That's already guided and I told you at the beginning of the video, we're not gonna learn any new licks no, that thing is gonna be the other essential part of music, probably the most important part, to be honest, and that's rhythm. We're gonna put our guitar down as we're listening to the backing track, just for a second. Now, the backing track is gonna give us that sense of rhythm. We've got our, our tempo here, you need to be able to really hear the strong beat. Most of you can do that. And then we're going to sub, sorry, I was looking up, uh, is my mic well in frame? Yeah, here it is, hello. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. All right. Now we're gonna subdivide that. Because if we just play over the beat, it's gonna sound pretty boring. Maybe subdivide it by two. Da, 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 da. That's fine. Can we do more? Maybe. Maybe about four. Da, 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 da. I found that most of the time, 16th notes is the perfect balance between ease of playing over pretty much any tempo and ease of applying the concept we're about to try. So we're gonna go with that. But if you feel more comfortable, you can definitely keep subdividing. 
that is okay. Again, four uh, subdivisions per beat, which is 16th notes, is gonna be the best bang for your buck. That's what I use all the time. We're grabbing our guitar back. We've got that subdivision in our mind. Think of it like a, a train that is going, keeps going on the tracks. And then in your mind, you're gonna start to build some rhythm phrases. We're not thinking of the notes. The notes are already taken care of by those to-go licks, right? But we're gonna start phrasing in our mind. So you got the in the back of your mind, and you're gonna vocalize some notes. It doesn't have to be pitch, pitches, it doesn't matter, just sounds, because the pitches are given to you by the lick. The only rule is that when you vocalize one of those sounds, it's got to fall in one of these subdivisions. And you'll find that as you do this for maybe a couple minutes, your ideas are going to be a little more interesting, a little more in tune, and you're going to start to groove internally or externally if you're vocalizing that. That's the thing that is gonna help you reclaim that automatic thing that your, your fingers are doing. Fingers got the notes, they got the frets, the technique. We're gonna apply that vocalization, internali internalization of the, the rhythm motifs that you're creating to your licks. We're gonna put everything together. We have our to-go lick. We have our subdivision. And we're gonna create our rhythm motifs that are gonna to apply to our to-go lick. Maybe something like like this. It falls on one of the, the, I'm doing a shaker. Not that great yet, but it's a little different, right? I am reclaiming control at this point. Now I'm gonna continue building some rhythm motifs. So we had something like this. Let's make it a little more interesting. Okay, how can I apply that thing? I'm adding an extra note there. I'm adding the ta. Well, they're all ties, but. Well, maybe we can take that lick, which was really made of three different pitches, right? Right? Uh, maybe we're gonna repeat one of those. So, the last one maybe. So if we had something like Maybe, or maybe we can repeat the first note, so. Or maybe the second note. Or maybe we can add that extra note, but not make it a pitch. We'll make it a ghost note, which is just a sound without a pitch. So you can maybe mute all the strings and then just pluck a string to have this non-pitched sound or a scratch or, or your, your hand on the guitar. It's just a percussive sound and you're just gonna playing with that. Let's give it a try. Right about here, something's gonna happen if you do this exercise. Your creative mind that is focused not on the notes, but on the is gonna kind of take over. And you're gonna start feeling this strong connection between what you're imagining in your mind, creating, and what you're playing. It'll just happen very naturally. Let's give it a try. And then you'll start developing some new ideas and you'll discover that the wrong notes, the ones that you hit by accident, are made right. I know, what I just played here may have sounded like way too advanced 
from where I started the video. See, something interesting happens when you start with those automatic licks and you start reclaiming control over them, adding this extra thing, which in this case is the rhythm, your fingers are gonna kind of submit to your, to your creative mind. Almost like they're, okay, you're in control now, I'll follow you. And that's when interesting things start happening. It happens quicker than you think. It might happen after 15 minutes of messing around with this or 30 minutes or, um, if, if after an hour, it's not coming, take a break, get back to it tomorrow, but I promise it will come. Now, really quick, one thing that might help you as well is that thing that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that is keeping you stuck. Click right here to answer the question, speak truthful. This is only gonna work if you've been stuck for a little while, but check it out, it's completely free. I'll tell you what is keeping you stuck and also how to fix it. This has helped hundreds, well, at this point, thousands of players. It's completely free. Check it out. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Answer the questions.